this is Mike Furman from Criswell Chevrolet here in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Criswell Chevrolet is the third ranked Corvette dealership nationwide out of 3,600 Chevrolet dealers. And today I'm gonna to be going over the 2015 Corvette Stingray and Z06. Some of the features that I'll be going over is the dashboard, the information center, uh, the, the select ride as far as the five different modes, and some of the uh, outside pieces of the vehicle that make it unique to the sports car world. Today we're gonna talk about the, uh, the steering wheel, the infotainment uh, center, and the menu system right here as far as showing you how to use it. I'm gonna be toggling these arrows here along with the select button in the middle. So if I toggle over to the left, and at the top here it says info, and if I press the select button, I can go down, if you see these white lines on either side of the, the uh, zero, I'm going to toggle down to the different things that it'll show. And the first one is trip A, trip B, the fuel range, instant fuel economy, the oil life, that's a viscosity as far as in percentage, tire pressure, the last 50 miles, fuel used in the timer, and then the speed limit, for it'll tell you what speed limit uh, on the road that you're uh, traveling. Uh, the engine hours, the lifetime revs, and back to zero miles an hour. If I go to the left one more time, I'm going to toggle down to performance. Hit select, and then I'm going to go through all the performance items. Acceleration to start, oil temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage, trans fluid temperature, the tire temperature, the wheel slippage in, in percentages, uh, and then back to zero for the miles per hour. I'm going to toggle over to the left again, it'll go down to audio. So if I press select, it's going to show what station I'm listening to right now, so that you can actually see the station. Toggle to the left again, go down to phone, it'll, it'll have whatever phone is connected. So if my phone was connected and I was dialing out, it would show the phone number of who I was calling or talking to. Go down to navigation and I toggle the select. It's gonna to go to the same as the screen over here, the navigation screen. It'll show you where you're headed. Toggle left, go down to the settings, and I can go through the settings as far as changing anything that I'd like to do in this menu. Okay, so that's using this right here for the instrument panel. Some of these gauges will change depending on what mode you're in on the mode selector. The mode selector is right here in the middle of the console, it's a dial. You can do this on the fly, you don't need to worry about you know, being stopped. So if I change it to sport mode and then track mode, you're going to notice the instrument panel change, all right, because I'm in the track mode in the performance section of the menu up here. And you'll see a different readout. I call this the hockey stick because of the way it's viewed there. And it matches what's up in my heads up display at the moment. So if I wanted to change this mode selector, I would just simply dial it. That takes me all the way to the weather mode, which would be for if it was raining out, it'll adjust your steering and your trans so that you have a better control of the car. Eco mode, what that does is in the, on the highway, if you're going 65 miles an hour, it'll shut down four of the cylinders. You'll go from um, having eight cylinders to four without you knowing it, and it adjusts your gas, mileages, your gas mileage so that you have increased gas mileage. I have people that are getting 33 to 35 miles per gallon on the highway. Then if you go to the tour mode, that's going to be your, your best riding uh, positioning of the car as far as your steering, your trans, and, uh, and the suspension of the vehicle. Sport mode would open up your exhaust system. Uh, there's two flappers on the outside of the, uh, the four exhaust chambers, and they're electronically linked to the uh, computer of the car, and it would open up for a louder sounding exhaust. And the track mode would tighten everything up, and it'd be for tracking the car. Uh, for road racing the car on a track. So it's simply just turn, weather, eco, tour, sport, and track. 
That's it. On stick shift cars, the seven speed manuals, you're going to have what's called the rev match mode. There's a paddle on either side, left or right. You only have to hit it one time. When you start the car, it's going to be in the regular mode. And you'll know that because the indicator for the gear you're in, one through seven, is going to be in white. All you have to do is hit it one time and it'll be in gold. That means you're in the rev match mode. And what that does is the computer knows what gear you're in, what RPMs you're at, what speed you're at, and what gear you're going to be going into. So that it automatically will be an easier shift, a smoother shift, and because it, it matches the revolutions per minute of the vehicle to the next gear you're going to go into, going up or down. When you turn the car off, it will revert back to the original stage where it's in white. You'd have to, if you wanted to be back in rev match mode, you'd hit this one time. Over here, you got two buttons on a two or a three LT. All right, the one LT does not have two buttons. They'll only have one button. The first button on the far left is your trunk release. The other button on the right is your motion sensor alarm. And the only time you would turn that off is if you plan on towing the car or going on the auto train because it, with the motion of the car, it'll set the sensor off for the alarm. So if you're gonna tow the car, you wanna turn it off and that's right where it is, right there. To open up the hood, the hood release is right here and you'll hear that and that means it's opened up. This hood is extremely light. When I lift the hood from either side, either fender, I like taking it from the brake right here and then I let it just go up. What I'm gonna show you today are, as far as cooling down the engine, they learned from the C7R race car that when the cold air comes through the grill, it actually hits the radiator, which is on an angle, and then the hot air comes through this grill and also that grill. It takes the hot air out. Now what that does is two things. When you take hot air out of the engine, it makes the engine work more efficient. And also, they also learned from the race car that it keeps the front end down by taking the hot air out the way they do. So those are two great benefits. Hot air out, more efficient for the engine, and the hot air out keeps the, the front end down at high speeds. On Z51 Stingrays and Z06s, you're gonna have what's called the dry sump system. This system holds 11 and a half quarts of oil, and it's right here. I would suggest that you have a Chevrolet dealership change the oil because it's 11 and a half quarts of oil, and there's a special process on how to do it. So you want to make sure that it's done properly. The Chevrolet warranty gives you, on a dry sump car, five oil changes for free. First one at 500 miles, and then a total of four more would happen within the two-year span from when you took delivery. I'm going to expand a little bit on the Chevrolet warranty. I just spoke briefly about the uh, five oil changes for a dry sump Z51 or Z06 Stingray. What I want you to understand is you get four oil changes for a non-Z51 or Z06 Stingray from the first date of delivery for the first two years of ownership. Then you also get five years or 100,000 miles powertrain warranty, engine trans rear. And then you get five years or 100,000 miles roadside assistance, so you don't need AAA. And you also get three years or 36,000 miles bumper to bumper on everything but a wearable item like a brake pad or a tire. Chevrolet also gives you six months of OnStar, three months of XM radio for a 1LT, and if you're getting a 2 or 3LT, you would get a year's worth of XM Sirius radio. Once again, my name is Mike Furman. If you have any questions, you can call my desk direct line at 301-212-4420, or you can email me at mfurman at criswellauto.com. And it's Mike Furman, Criswell Chevrolet, Gaithersburg, Maryland.